Thanks for with us. You're watching In Focus. Well, on today's show, we're taking a closer look at scouting and the big change by the Boy Scouts of America, now allowing girls to join their organization this year as Cub Scouts and next year as Boy Scouts in that program. Now, we've heard earlier from the Boy Scouts on their initiatives, and now we turn to the Girl Scouts. We're glad they're with us, too. Kim Freitas Dow, Chief Executive Officer of Girl Scouts of Eastern Pennsylvania, is with us, and we also have some wonderful Girl Scouts with us. We have Gia, Jamie, and Alexa. Alexa. Hello. Hi. So glad you're here. Thanks for I always tell us. folks I was a Girl Scout. My brothers were Boy Scouts. We've got it all in the family here. Uh, glad you're with us. And Kim, you've been with us before. Yes, and thank you, Jen, for having us again. It's always a great opportunity to talk about Girl Scouts. Yeah, well, we want to talk about Girl Scouts. What's new in scouting? Tell us about some of the programs that you're working on now and that uh, you really believe will propel your organization forward. So this is a great time of year to talk about Girl Scouts. We have our summer camp starting in just a week and a half. Uh, at Girl Scouts of Eastern Pennsylvania, we have a lot of programming during the summer where girls get to get outside, unplug, uh, make new friends, take risks, do some high adventure, and, and all of that. So those are some of the really great programs that we have coming up in a couple weeks. Tech programs, we've talked about those before, so a lot in different areas. Those continue, and those are essential, too, to your programming. Absolutely. Our, our programming is all girl-led, so we're trying to meet our girls where they are. And with the changing world, you know, we have a lot of more STEM programs. Our girls are really interested in robotics and engineering. Our newest badges are on cybersecurity. So oh, some that's really, really interesting, neat. innovative new program. Yeah, that, that's really very, very important. Please weigh in here as well. We have Gia, Jamie again, and Alexa with us. We just heard from the Boy Scouts. Of course, this uh, really a monumental change. We're talking about organizations that are a century old, including the Girl Scouts. And, um, and what are your thoughts? I want to hear from you all about uh, what you're doing that's great, but also you heard that also girls joining the Boy Scouts. Let me start with you, Gia. Well, I think Girl Scouts in general is just such an amazing like place to be. There's so many things and so many opportunities that I get that I wouldn't get if I wasn't in Girl Scouts. Give us an example. Um, Camp, we went to Savannah. We went to Savannah as a troop, and it was, uh, it was, it was so cool. We actually went to Juliet Gordon Lowe's um, grave site. Your founder. And, yes, and we got to see where she was, and we got to see the history of Girl Scouts, wow. but I wouldn't have been able to go without Girl Scouts, so that was really amazing. Wow. That's really, really neat. And please, uh, tell us a little bit more, too, about how you feel about it, Jamie. Yeah, um, I really like Girl Scouts because there's just so many more opportunities you can do. Like. This year I'm going to work at camp as a counselor and I'm like really excited. Congratulations. And we see all the pins and everything you've been able yeah. to really, you know, uh, excel and achieve in. Congratulations. It's wonderful to see everybody so beautifully decorated also in your attire. I want to get to you, Alexa. You are actually in college. You're a Girl Scout alum. You've won awards, doing amazing things. Um, tell us about uh, how it's helped to prepare you for where you are now. Right. So uh, I want to say that I think uh, I understand where uh, BSA wants to include girls uh, because Girl Scouts of the USA has been the premier leadership organization for girls for over 105 years and we've done really great things and so uh, I think it's, uh, I understand um, that they are looking to us for leadership inspiration. Uh, and Girl Scouts has really been that organization for me. It's inspired me to take the lead, really challenged me to take on great leadership roles, uh, pushed me in mm. my adventures, uh, and sort of formed me into the great citizen of the world that I am today in this ever-changing world. Yeah, well, well, congratulations on all the things that you're doing, and, and that's so great, and, and everything with the college and, and, you know, that you're excelling in. What are your thoughts when you think about now that girls can be in Boy Scouts? Um, could you imagine boys in Girl Scouts? What do you think? Well, I think, well, I go to co-ed school, so it's things that I wouldn't do in school that I do in Girl Scouts. Like, we had a meeting about our bodies, and I would never be able to have that kind of meeting in school that I have in Girl Scouts, so I think having boys there would be difficult for girls, since also boys are always taken first or seen as better sometimes. Girls had the opportunity to become leaders and learn about themselves and how to do things well. Uh, Jamie and Gia and uh, Jamie and Alexa, what do you think? Um, well, I think it's it's great that in Girl Scouts you can just like bond with like people that you like wouldn't know. Like my troop isn't in my school, so like I meet new people and like 
I just like that it's girls and like you can just like spend time with them. And Alexa, you went through the program, had many years in it as well. Um, I think I have an inkling of your thoughts, <laughs> but to tell us, uh, what do you think? Could you imagine it being a co-ed? Uh, yeah, so one of the greatest things about Girl Scouts to me was having uh, women mentors and really uh, building each other up with other girls. So Girl Scouts and organizations like Girl Scouts that have that girl-only environment that provide girls unique opportunities for them to take the lead, uh, like I've experienced, really helped shape me into the person that I am today to take on really, really tough issues in uh, such as the topic that I chose for my Girl Scout Gold Award, um, and it's inspired me in my what academics. Was your, what was your topic? Sure, I created a documentary about child pornography for my Girl Scout Gold Award project. I interviewed five experts for the documentary, and then I used my documentary as a teaching tool in undergraduate criminal justice and social work classes, including uh, at uh, Drexel University, and I also used it uh, as a presentation for various uh, law enforcement agencies. And that is powerful stuff, and, and Kim, I'm going to assume that with that smile on your face, that means that's what you know, makes you proud when you hear about taking issues um, and moving those forward into, I'm going to say action. Absolutely. So at Girl Scouts, we really believe that when girls dis discover a strong sense of self, they connect with other people and value the power of diversity, and then they identify and solve problems in their community and take action that they become leaders. We're actually seeing some uh, clips here um, and uh, some still pictures, I should say, uh, that are to me very impactful. It, it shows uh, has some historical uh, photos there as well as video. Uh, also times we were talking about earlier in terms of uh, history historical reference and uh, desegregation in this country and integration uh, in this country. Tell us what we're looking at and the importance of that. So I think the importance of Girl Scouting um, was, you know, we were founded in 1912 by Juliet Gordon Lowe. Um, if you think about our country at that time, women had not even earned the right to vote until uh, eight years later. So she was a revolutionary and what she decided was that girls of every race and creed deserved an opportunity to excel as leaders and develop their skills. So she developed Girl Scouts and um, since then we have been leading with her spirit which is to provide girls awesome opportunities that they might not get otherwise to um, follow their lead. Our girl programs are all girl led and um, you know these are great examples these three girls here of what leadership looks like in Girl Scouting. We're going to be talking with you more uh, coming up, so stay with us for that. Coming up next, folks, on In Focus, the top leadership from the Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts sit down with me together for the issue that has a lot of people talking. That's next.